Much hype is generated when something grand is about to be launched. While some don't live up to the hype, some do, and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is from the latter category. Ever since its creation, people have been talking a lot about it and how powerful the photographs it's going to take are going to be. Well, 25 years later after its first production, James Webb did not disappoint its ardent admirers and has recently sent in a photo that blew the mind of almost everyone. Welcome back, and in this video, we'll be comparing the images sent in by WISE, Spitzer, and James Webb Space Telescope. For those who don't know about the James Webb Space Telescope, it is the most powerful telescope that has been launched into space. With its amazing infrared resolution, it can view objects that were considered too far away and faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. One can consider it as the faithful successor of the Hubble Telescope. It was launched in December 2021 and folded up inside the European Ariane 5 rocket. It has its gigantic primary mirror of 6 meters and an enormous sunshield, and has been flying across space for the past 5 months, sending in photos and details back to our home planet. There are also other objectives for the telescope, and many of these are kept under wraps. We will soon know. One of the most impactful details about the James Webb is its large mirror detectors that are really sensitive, allowing for a clearer view of space and whatever is beyond it. Its primary mirror is bigger than the others, enabling it to capture images with better clarity. The mirrors help in focusing the light that it receives from space to each of its instruments in order to capture clear pictures, and that is one of its major innovations. It is a collaboration between NASA and the European Space Agency, along with the Canadian Space Agency. It has its prime aim to study the birth of the universe from the Big Bang and its stars and galaxies. The telescope will also be used to study faraway exoplanets and to see if there are other life forms in the universe. Infrared light has been in consideration for its usage in space telescopes for quite some time now, as there is practically no atmospheric absorption in space, giving way to better quality. Webb, with its significantly larger primary mirror and improved detectors, will allow us to see the infrared sky with improved clarity, enabling even more discoveries, says NASA. Spitzer Space Telescope was launched in 2003 and used infrared technology throughout its mission until 2020. It was one of NASA's major space observatories and had provided high-resolution images prior to James Webb. According to NASA, Spitzer's mission was to become NASA's premier infrared light observatory, offering astronomers the chance to study the universe in this critical part of the electromagnetic spectrum of light with unprecedented clarity and sensitivity. After the decommissioning of Spitzer, James Webb was considered to be the front-runner for Spitzer's missions, and as you can see, it's doing its job really well. In fact, way better than its predecessors. Another major space telescope that used infrared technology was Wide Field Infrared Space Observer, or the WISE telescope, which was launched in 2009. Towards the end of April and the beginning of May, the latest images by the James Webb Telescope were released. Although it was not the first picture that got released, so much attention was garnered for the brilliant quality of the images. Scientists are excited about the new grounds that they could achieve in infrared technology. Many were in awe of the quality of the pictures, which happened to be better than what they had imagined. The photos were released after the mirror segments were completely focused. This was a long, tedious, and hectic task and took some time for the scientists, but hey, better late than never. The images that the James Webb Space Telescope had sent in included that of the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy that lies in the Milky Way. One of the cameras of the James Webb Telescope, MIRI, which stands for Mid-Infrared Instrument, took these images, and it's a sharp contrast when compared with other images from other space telescopes. All cameras in the space observatory have micro shutters and filters, and each has various modes of observation that helps them to focus and take better pictures. All of these were rigorously tested before they were handed to NASA. Mark Makarian, a member of the science working group of the James Webb Space Telescope states, it hasn't broken the laws of physics, but does lie at the very best end of possibilities thanks to the extraordinary efforts of many over decades. Makarian also stated, of course, every instrument has been tested and checked on Earth, but we need to prove that they also perform flawlessly in space. Astronomer Andres Gasper also tweeted, comparing the images sent in by the James Webb Telescope with that of the same image taken by the WISE Telescope. How awesome is JWST MIRI? Well, let's compare the latest press release image to that of the WISE All-Sky Survey at 4.6 microns. This is the closest wavelength image I could find. Spitzer IRAC would have been better, slightly higher resolution and similar wavelength. He later added another tweet comparing these images with the one captured by the Spitzer Telescope as well. He tweeted, 
To be fair, WISE with its 40cm diameter telescope was only half the size of Spitzer's 85cm primary, but both of them are tiny compared to JWST 6.5m primary. This is what you get with large aperture, resolution and sensitivity, and Mary Gibbs Mid-IR HST Hubble Space Telescope can't get this wavelength. One of the principal investigators of the James Webb, Marcia Rica said, but it's not until you actually see the kind of image that it delivers that you really internalize and go, wow, just think of what we're going to learn. Spitzer taught us a lot, but this is like a whole new world. In the comparison photos, one can clearly see that the photo taken by the James Webb telescope is of much greater quality than the one taken by Spitzer and Wise. While what we saw in the images by Spitzer and Wise was really blurred and looked like a bunch of blobs, the James Webb telescope's image has a clearer, sharper image of the galaxy. NASA scientists are very proud of the project. They say, here you can see the emission from polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or molecules of carbon and hydrogen that play an important role in interstellar gases, thermal balance, and chemistry. When Webb is ready to begin science observations, studies such as these with MIRI will help give astronomers new insights into the birth of stars and protoplanetary systems. If you've enjoyed this video so far, make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel for more informative content. Now back to the video. The comparison of these three images is nothing short of exceptional, although one might wonder why everyone's so excited about something that they knew was going to be really good, it's really interesting to note that the testing of the telescope did not really yield the expected results. Marshall Perrin, the deputy project scientist for the James Webb Telescope says, Yes, we had tested the whole optical train in cryo in Houston but that didn't actually tell us the ultimate performance, not fully. In many ways, the ground test environment was challenging and different from space. Gravity plays a major role in the telescope. Remember the mirrors we had told you about? Yeah, they come into play here. These mirrors are designed in such a way that they change into a certain shape at zero gravity. This helps the telescope to get more clear focus during rough conditions such as zero gravity. Perrin also said, performance forecasting should not be just a manual wave or desire, but should be based on quantitative numerical models and budgets, including assessing risks and uncertainties. The James Webb Space Telescope completed the perfect alignment of its mirrors in April 2022 and is now good to go. It's on its mission to capture some really good images that we still haven't seen clearly. Although NASA has released not many images, they said that many more of them will be released in July. With the release of recent images, the future looks really bright for the James Webb Space Telescope, just like its pictures. Let's hope its mission will bring about more and more discoveries about the universe. And until we meet again, ciao!